This is Tim Willis of Face Made for Radio and Voice Made for News Print, and this is Click Funnels and Click Designs. And today we're going to be looking at Click Funnels 2.0 and looking at a little thing regarding our email workflows that we can use to kind of keep them running as long as we want. And so when we set up a workflow, it runs through the cycle once a recipient pops in, and then at the end of that cycle, it's automatically built in to have an end of the workflow. And so if we want to add things later on, maybe like promoting a related product um, or something like that, and the workflow has already reached the end, from ClickFormic's point of view, that recipient has gone through the whole cycle and they won't get that new email we add to the workflow because they've already gone through the whole process. And so there's a way of fixing this and kind of keeping your options open. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that tonight. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to window view and we'll look and see how we can do this. Here we are at the main panel of ClickFunnels 2.0. And before we get started too much here, I want to go ahead and show something here in the marketing section. I recorded this video before but for some reason my microphone has had a horrible echo and I had to fix that so I'm starting over again so now the thing is in our workflow area um, this is the one that I set up and I went ahead and stripped it back to zero but one of the things about these workflows we set up is that as of now as far as I can tell there's no way to delete them Okay, so here we are in the delay demo, and I'm looking at the settings. We can discard changes, we can update the workflow. We can generate a share link, because you can generate share links for email workflows. So you can actually share them the same way you can a funnel. We can update, we can discard changes. Oh, we, did, we already said that before. We can duplicate it, or we can archive it. But apparently, at this point, we are not able to delete the workflows. And I believe the same is true for funnels. So it seems that funnels and workflows are so precious to Russell Brunson, he can't bear the thought of one being deleted. I'm sure there's a traumatic story as to why when Russell and Todd designed ClickFunnels, they designed it so you cannot delete funnels or workflows, but you can archive them. Just be aware of that as you create these workflows for your emails, that you can't delete them, but you can archive them and that's all for that so let's go ahead and go to our funnels and we we'll use funnel email test 2 and this is just a this is just a template from click funnels 2.0 and it's loaded up just to have something to work with it satisfies all our needs. It has a button and email input so we can have somebody opt in. And then we're going to go ahead and click the lightning bolt to the right and load up our workflows. We could have done this from the other area as well, but I generally go with just clicking on the lightning bolt. All right, so then we'll go to the delay demonstration. Click select. Right now, it doesn't have a trigger set, so we'll go ahead and set in an opt-in. And attach it to the workflow. Okay, now we're in the workflow area. We look at a trigger. We've just got the one event type of opt-in. And that's it. We can close that. Now, here's where the magic sort of happens if you look at our workflow as it is right now we have the trigger and we have the end of the workflow so we can add anything we want by clicking this circle and it's kind of up to you where you want to put this in the chain we can click and bring up our panel on the right hand side scroll down a little bit and go to delay now we can set delay for anything from minutes to years. And so I'm going to set it to 100 years. Because it's 61 years old, I don't think I have to worry about 
about running out of years before I die. And so we select years and we click create. All right, so now we've got a hundred year delay, which means if we left it like here, it is when somebody opts in, they're going to activate the trigger and the trigger is going to go to the next item in chain, which is our hundred years delay. And so basically the delay will be in effect for 100 years. And then after 100 years, it will go to end workflow. Now that's not very useful in itself, but where it becomes useful is if we add something like an email. And so we're going to go ahead and add an email. And we're just going to pick something out here because we just need this for example. We'll have to go ahead and give that email a name. Just for reference. We'll need to give it a subject. It's probably the worst headline ever signed an email, but it, we just need to give it something. We skip the preview headline and then we just need to go ahead and select um, our send from address and click on create. All right, so now we have an email. And then if we click here, we'll just take a quick look at the email. And that's going to be good enough for our purposes. We don't actually need to write an email, we just need an email there. So now we have a workflow, an email, and a delay. So what will happen now is the recipient will opt in. They'll activate the trigger. They'll get the email. And then after they get that email, the delay will kick in and the workflow will stay open for 100 years after that. And then after 100 years, it will come to the end of the workflow. So if we want to add something else here, like another email, and we'll just grab another one of these. pop that in there now anytime we want to add something in between items already in chain we just click this circle with the plus sign so we're going to go ahead and put a delay here too but this delay we're just going to make for one day here let's go ahead and add a tag so we come down here we can tag the contact and workflow study and I recommend that you always create a tag of some sort for each workflow you may need one more than one tag because it's all you have the opt-in I've found in the past that can cause some unusual things to happen so if we're able to sign a tag that will work like segments and all those responders like get response or Aweber and so that kind of tidies things up so now what we have is we have the workflow and we'll go 
the opt-in, we'll go add a tag, we'll come to the first email. After the first email, there's going to be a one-day delay. And then the next email will be sent. And after that, if we don't add anything else later on, it will come to the 100 years delay, and that will start counting down for 100 years, after which we will have the end of the workflow happen. And so we want to add more emails here, or any of these options in this right hand panel then we can do so later on and they're going to get sent because we still have for 100 years this workflow is still open so that's the little trick we can do to keep the email workflow open and running just in case we want to add something later on this is something I recently learned about it makes perfect sense and it's actually probably a good thing to incorporate because you never know when you may want to add more emails later on for a related product for a contest for a promotion or just to give more information to a, a customer or whatever so this is the way we can do that and leave the workflow open and running and I made this a hundred years you can make it whatever you wanted to um, one of the people that I got the idea from goes for a thousand years so he's obviously planning on a very long life but most of us will probably not be exceeding a hundred so a hundred is a pretty safe number and anyway that is what I wanted to share for now I am working on a mini course on creating email workflows it won't be quite a comprehensive course because I'll probably do some things about workflows later on that are more specialized, but it will go into the basic setup and how to do that. But for right now, that will just cover this one little thing you can do to keep your email workflow open. And that is going to be it for today. So my name is Tim Willis. I'm a certified ClickFunnels Funnel Builder. I make tutorial and demonstration videos on click funnels, click designs, and other useful tools for funnel hackers and funnel hacking. That is the video for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.